I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, today we're reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. Let's focus on verses 9 and 10. At that, when you call, the Lord will answer when you cry out. And he will say, here I am. If you get rid of the yoke from those around you, the finger pointing and malicious speaking, and if you offer yourself to the hungry and satisfy the afflicted one, then your light will shine in the darkness and your night will be like noonday. Now, humility shows itself in a willingness to turn away from sin and toward God. And this is a spirit that is obviously lacking in the southern kingdom of Judah's attitude toward worship in Isaiah 58. Now, a chapter that contrasts true worship with fake worship. 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7 says this, The Lord does not see as man sees, for man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. And there are glimpses in today's passage of formal religion, but it is a religion with which God is displeased. He's not happy with it, what the church is doing. Both negative and positive aspects are highlighted, and we learn that the formal religion is not in and of itself true religion. When a transformed heart is absent from worship, then good works are meaningless. Just because you do the stuff Christians are supposed to do, if your heart's not right, what does it matter what you do? Because they're void of proper biblical motives as guided by the Holy Spirit. And the evidence of Israel's distortion of proper worship is found in that the people were doing as one pleases, the Bible says, which is a hindrance to prayer. Doing whatever I want to do and saying that's of the Lord. Don't you see that online all the time? True religion is a transformed heart religion. It's based on God's Word. True religion leads to true joy and true happiness. The outworking of the transformed heart expresses itself within formal religion, but places good works in their proper perspective. Of course, we know that this is a message that Jesus saw as important to teach us, the same yoke that is the burden or the religious ways that Isaiah exposed as false religion, Jesus offers to relieve us of if we will repent from our sin and come under his yoke through a personal saving relationship with him. Here's how he put it, Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30, Come to me, all who are tired from carrying heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Place my yoke over your shoulders and learn from me because I am gentle and humble, and then you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Furthermore, James, who was Jesus' half-brother, also felt that it was important to point out the hypocrisy which was inherent in Israel's worship in their day, and to distinguish between false and true religion among the people who professed to be believers. James chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. If anyone thinks that he's religious, and he doesn't bridle his tongue, but he deceives his heart, well, this person's religion is worthless. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction, and to keep oneself unstained by the world. You know, perhaps you have spent much time in or around church, but you're certain, are you certain, that you're truly following Jesus? Many have uh, bought into a Jesus-themed religion, which is not biblical at all, clinging to a form of godliness and yet denying the power thereof. And if such, Jesus will say, turn away, I never knew you. It's sad to know that people would cling to the fake thing when the real thing is offered for free. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we do need your monthly support. Donating is secure and easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. Another way to help is just tell people about Groundworks Ministries. You can share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course... You can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.